Good afternoon. I'm Mike Avisang. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about raising your rabbit, um, raising, feeding, caring for your rabbit for a 4-H or an FFA project. Um, I've been raising rabbits for 55 years or so. I started as a 4-H project member myself. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about that. Um, start with housing. There are various ways you can house your rabbit. You can keep your rabbit outside in a wooden cage. You always want to have wire bottom on it if you can. Um, you can have your rabbit inside in an all-wire cage. There's different ways to have those. Um, there's stacking cages where you have one or two or three cages stacked on top of each other with a tray underneath that's going to catch the manure. There are hanging cages where if you have a, a shed with, a, say, a dirt floor where you can let the manure fall on the floor, you can just hang it from the rafters, let the rabbits be in there. Um, any of those work fine. The, uh, the only thing is if you have them outside, you want to make sure they're out of the sun. So that's, that's not going to be good for your rabbit. Rabbits tend to sunburn, so that rabbit will look kind of creamy orange color if he sits in the sun all day long. Plus, the heat is not good for rabbits, so you need to try and keep them in the shade. Or, you know, if you got your rabbits in a building, make sure you got some ventilation going on them, because the uh, once they get, you know, that temperature gets about 100 or so, and you got a real high humidity like we get here in Iowa, that heat is really bad on them. If you go out there and your rabbit has a really wet nose, that's rabbits can't perspire. That's how you can tell if they're really stressed is their nose will get soaking wet. And if that happens, you've got some problems. Um, as far as uh, feeding your rabbit, there's um, any of the basic rabbit feeds, uh, Kent's, Neutrina, Purina, any of them are very good. The best advice that I can give you is that buy a feed and stick with it. Don't switch, to, don't buy whatever's on special this week and because that's not good for your animal. You need to keep them on a constant diet also, it's important that your feed be fresh, so you need to pay attention to when you when you buy that bag of feed. Look at the, uh, the manufacturing date on there so that your feed is fresh. That's very important. Um, all your rabbit needs to survive is rabbit pellets and water. I mean, there are, everything that rabbit needs is in the pellets. There used to be, when I was a kid, we used to use salt spools uh, because there wasn't as much salt in the pellets as there is now, and your rabbits needed additional salt. They don't need that now. That'll just make your cages rust. Uh, but the basic ration can be pellets and water. Um, in addition to pellets, uh, you can feed oats. Um, rabbits love oats. Um, some of us that you know try to condition rabbits to make them look better for show give black oil sunflower seeds because the oil in that seed will kind of make their coats a little bit shinier. Uh, the trick to that is you want to be careful about that in the summer because if, you're, if it's plenty hot already and you're giving your rabbit some extra nutrition, you're liable to just make them molt. So if oats works, you can use black oil sunflower seeds. Uh, some people use sweet horse feed, the lower protein sweet horse feeds. Those will work as a supplement for your rabbits. Um, also hay, rabbits love hay. They don't have to have hay, but they can love hay, especially grass hay. Alfalfa hay tends to be, really good alfalfa hay tends to be just a little bit too much energy for a rabbit, especially young rabbits. So grass hay is the best if you can get some good grass hay. You can give the rabbits as much grass hay as you want. They love to chew on that stuff and it's not going to hurt them in the least bit. Also that kind of, if they're young and sometimes the young rabbits tend to scour a little bit, the, the fiber in the hay is good for their uh, digestive system. And so that's always another option too. As far as when you feed your rabbits, there's different ways of, of getting the feed to your rabbit. Uh, this is a, what we call a J feeder. If you look from the side, it kind of looks like a J. These attach to the outside of your cage. And then when you, you just walk by and dump the feed in the feeder. These work really well indoors. They don't necessarily work so well outdoors because the rain can get in the back of the J feeder. Um, also, there's also uh, feed crocs. This is a heavy ceramic croc. You can just, you know, if your rabbits are in a cage, you can just dump the feed in there that you're gonna give them. Um, when you're feeding your rabbits, the thing to remember is you only wanna give them what they'll clean up in a day. You can, you can overfeed your rabbits, you can make them fat, just like you can make anything else fat. So all they need is what they'll clean up in a day. So that's a, you know, a basic ration. I feed my rabbits at night because rabbits, wild rabbits tend to be nocturnal animals. Uh, tame rabbits are kind of the same way. Um, you can feed them in the morning if you want, you can feed them at lunch, whatever you want to feed them. Just feed them at the same time each day. So get in a routine, get in a rhythm. And again, just, you know, give them what they'll clean up in a day. You got your two different kinds of feeders. Indoors, one for indoors, one for outdoors mostly. Like I said earlier, it needs to be fresh. Any of the, any of the major feed brands are just fine. There's usually in rabbits, there's 15% feed, there's 16% feed, and 18%, that's a protein level in those feeds. 
Generally speaking, the smaller the rabbit, the less protein you need to give him. So this is a mini satin sitting here beside us. Um, he's full grown, so he's about a four pound rabbit, four and a quarter pound rabbit. So my rabbits get 15% feed is what I give them. When I raise the big satins, which are a nine or 10 pound rabbit, I gave them 18% feed because I think they needed that extra protein to help grow themselves and to get up to size. Because trying to get rabbits up to size, especially the bigger ones, is always a challenge. But again, you know, whatever you feed your rabbit, be consistent with it. Same time of day, same amount of feed, same brand of feed if you can, make sure that it's fresh. Water is also very important for your rabbits. Especially, you know, when it gets really hot in the summer, the, uh, you want to give your rabbits water a couple times a day if you can, cool water. It's also like this time of year, you know, it's uh, below zero this morning outside. Your rabbits, those crocs are going to freeze in most cases unless your rabbit's in a heated building. So you, what I do is I go out in the morning, I take my water bowl, and I just pour a little bit of warm water on top of the ice that's already in there. And that way the rabbit can drink, because if you take this bowl in the house, you thaw it out, you take it back out, you fill it up with water, the rabbit's going to take about three drinks out of it, and it's going to freeze solid, and you're going to have to do the same thing this evening. So um, I just, I'll take the bowl, I'll, let it, I'll clean it out, I'll put just a little bit of water in the bowl in the morning, a little bit of water in the bowl in the afternoon, and that'll let, it'll take a three or four days before it fills up completely. Um, some rabbits will lick ice. They don't all do that, but some rabbits will lick ice to get some water too. But uh, if you can water them a couple times a day, that's gonna really gonna help them. Because if they don't get water, they aren't gonna eat. And if they don't eat, they're not gonna have good condition when you get ready to take them to the fair. Um, one of the things that's really important uh, with water, this is a really heavy ceramic bowl. This is an aluminum bowl, both of which are almost unbreakable from a standpoint of putting ice there. But you need to, you know, you need to put that bowl in there, make sure that they, it's a good solid bowl. The uh, little plastic pet bowls that you see a lot of that you can use for your cat or your dog or something, those are not good to use for rabbits because the rabbits will pick those up and throw them. They'll dump their feed out, they'll dump their water out. They'll also eat those bowls too. They'll chew on them. The plastic, they don't necessarily eat the plastic, but they'll chew the bowls. And then you'll end up having to buy new bowls because they'll be all chewed up. So your best bet is to pick a good substantial bowl, whether it's aluminum, whether it's a crock, um, whatever else you have at home, but you want a good solid substantial bowl that that water will stay in. And same thing with the feed. If you, you want to have a heavy bowl or you want to have a J feeder, because otherwise if you have a small plastic bowl, they're going to pick that bowl up, throw it around, and up the feed out of it. I see that a lot when I judge 4-H shows. When you talk to the kids, if their rabbit's just a little bit thin or a little bit skinny, and you say, hey, did your rabbit, does he have a plastic bowl? And they'll say, yeah. And you say, did he dump his feed? And they say, yeah, he dumps his feed every day. Well, that's why he's pretty kind of skinny, is because he dumped his feed every day and he didn't get all the energy that he needed. Again, just try to keep him someplace where you get some air on him, where they're in the shade. Uh, you know, constant with your feed and water, and you should do very well with your project at the fair. Thank you.